Hi everyone, how is your Valentine's? This is my special Valentine's message for you all, especially for some of you singletons out there. You may have gone through today going, oh, if only I had a partner. And for those of you who are in a relationship may also be thinking something's not fulfilled. And if only this person I'm with just did this. Well, I want to introduce you to a universal law called the law of one and many, sometimes known as the law of transformation. And what this is all about is actually all the behaviours you're looking for are all present in your life. Singletons, take a look at all the traits you're looking for in a person and look at who's actually demonstrating and displaying this because I guarantee you they are there. They're just in a form that you're not recognising. And the moment we ask ourselves who is actually demonstrating and displaying it, you will see that you're not missing something. It's just been in that form that you haven't recognised. Now, you might choose to do a pity party or you might choose to do depression because you're not in a relationship. Well, I just want to make you aware that you can do that. There's nothing wrong in that, but you can choose how long you want to stay there before you start looking at all the benefits of being single, because I assure you there are definitely benefits of being single. You can ask your friends and your family who are in relationships or just look back to when you were single. If you've been in a relationship, there were also equal benefits. Ladies and gents, the law of duality never lets something have only one side. It's always going to have both sides, whether you're in a relationship or you're not. I'm sure you would agree when you're in a relationship, there's going to be equal pain and pleasure as well as when you are single, there's going to be equal pain and pleasure. So this whole thing about Valentine's Day, it's one of the days that people tend to do depression and then they start to get their pity party out because they're not in a relationship. Well, all I'm doing is I want to encourage you to look at all the things that are already there in the form that you're just not recognising. I'll give you an example. Today I was thinking, if I was in a relationship, somebody in the morning would have given me a hug and a kiss and said, happy Valentine's Day. Guess who showed up in the morning to do that for me? My mum. Then I was like, well, if I was in a relationship, my partner would have messaged me in the morning. I had friends, I had uh, clients, I had people messaging me from the morning, wishing me a happy Valentine's Day. So it's just all there and it's in a form that we're not recognising. I'll give you a really cool one. In the moment I was thinking that actually, if my partner was there, he would have actually booked a nice restaurant uh, for us to go for a meal. One of my clients in the exact same moment sent me an email to say that the meeting we're doing, not necessarily today, but we're doing it in a week, has been booked at a really nice restaurant. Now, I'm just letting you know this because you can choose to be the victim OK, and go, oh, if only it was a man and if only if it was a woman, um, you know, same thing. It doesn't matter whether, you, you know, you are having a relationship with either one because we still perceive things are missing. And I just want to let you know, take a look. They are all there. They're present just in the form you're not recognizing. Um, and the last thing I like to say is whether it be Valentine's Day or any other day, take out some time for yourself. Treat yourself like I did because you're worth it and you deserve it. Don't wait around for somebody else to do the very things that you want to do and you wish to do. Do it for yourself. Um, so I'd like to wish you all a uh, rest of a few hours of uh, a fulfilled Valentine's Day and uh, I shall see you very soon. Bye.